Hello everybody. Today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate Edition. Uh, I believe this edition debuted last Detroit Auto Show in 2022. However, this is the new model year. Um, still same great color. Starting off up front, we have that beautiful Vader Chrome. It's like a black chrome finish. Typically I'm not a fan of chrome, but it looks absolutely stunning on this vehicle. Massive grill up front. 360 degree camera system as you'd expect. The GMC is kind of grayed out to match the color scheme. Beautiful full LED headlights as well as fog lights down below. Parking sensors are integrated into the middle portion of the bottom bumper. Uh, this guy does have the three liter Duramax diesel. You can tell because there is a block heater plug right here, which is nice. Uh, horizontal or vertical, I should say, uh, chrome tow recovery hooks. I think these look way better than the horizontal uh, kind. I just think it looks extremely luxurious. Coming around the side, we have these nice uh, matte black fender flares that transition into mud guards. Uh, I believe these are 22 inch uh, machined wheels. It looks like they are Bridgestone Alenzas. In the tire size, if I can find it real quickly, I cannot find it real quickly. I do apologize. Maybe it's on the uh, inner portion of the tire. Um, but it looks like it's a 22 inch wheel. There's your ultimate Duramax badge right there. Chrome mirror caps. Mirror mounted camera is going to be right down there. Blind spot monitoring as you'd expect on a Denali Ultimate. Your Denali badging is going to be right down here. This guy also has drop down running boards which are pretty cool and not only do they drop down like that but you also kick the back right here and then it moves the running board to the back so if you need to get up into the bed you can real easy when you're done simply kick it again and it will go back to normal chrome door handles with passive entry so you can unlock and lock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door again beautiful beautiful exterior color capless uh, or actually there is a cap on it but you have your diesel and then your def uh, fill port right there front splash guards over the rear wheels beautiful full led tail lamp multi pro tailgate again as you'd expect beautiful beautiful gmc is massive on this guy denali is right under it you have your seven pin connector right here you have your inside trailer camera and then your trailer backup camera right there parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper and even with the three liter diesel you still are going to get your dual exhaust with the bumper step included up top you have your backup camera as well as an led puddle light which makes hooking up a trailer in low light conditions very easy i'll go a little bit more into detail on the multi pro tailgate um, when we take a look at the bed. Right up here, we have your third brake light, cargo light, backup cargo camera, as well as your mirror mounted video camera, and the wing, which shoots air over the, the bed. So if you don't have a tonneau cover, you still won't uh, experience increased drag. So overall, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Right, I so love starting it. off over here on the driver's side door, I wanna point out how luxurious it really is in here. Um, just like the Yukon Denali Ultimate, same leather, same extremely soft, high quality leather with real wood trim. Ultimate badging is gonna be on the door itself. You've got all the window controls for the vehicle right here, as well as your mirror controls. And then you have your lock and unlock button as well as your two seat memory. Right over here, you have your electronic parking brake button, push button transfer case, auto, four high, two high, four low, different drive modes for the vehicle right here, as well as your trailer tow mode. Over here, we have all the lighting for the exterior uh, of the vehicle, rotary dial right there for that, as well as your fog lights and cargo light button, and then your dimmer switch for the instru uh, instrument uh, cluster. Right up here, we have the heads up display control. The heads up display is gonna come right out here onto the uh, windshield. This right here controls how high or how low the heads-up display is displayed on the windshield. This displays what different info you want to display on the heads-up display. And then this controls how bright or how dim the heads-up display is. 
Um, again, just like the Yukon Denali Ultimate, they have this real metal, like machined uh, accent pieces in here. And it, it's definitely real metal. It's cold to the touch. And it looks like you can see like the bit lines when it was actually machined. I really, really love this feel. It's not only here, but it's on the steering wheel as well. Coming back up to the dashboard, I'd say it's 80% soft leather. Working our way down to the instrument cluster, unfortunately, I do not have the key fob on me. Um, it is fully digital, so I won't really be able to go over all the different things on the instrument cluster, but I love that the industry is moving in that direction. This guy has super cruise, so your sensors right here, and then your indicator lights are gonna be all right up here. Pedal shifters as well. Right down here, we have all the cruise control buttons as well as your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control. And then I believe this is your lane keep assist. Right here, we have your uh, steering wheel mounted audio controls for the phone and then the control pad for the center LCD display. Now, massive horizontal touchscreen display, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, uh, 4G LTE connection, Amazon Alexa enabled, Wi-Fi hotspot. This thing can literally do it all. It's powered by Google Maps, super high definition. You can toggle the 360 degree camera system in here. Uh, you can do so much with this touchscreen display. You got your physical home button right here. This does have the card display as well. So if you wanna change what app you're side loading, you can do that right there. Massive push button start right here. Dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated captain's chairs. Heated steering wheel button's gonna be right there. I love that General Motors gives you the option to turn on the heated seat back independently from the entire seat. Uh, I believe this is your Super Cruise or whatever it's called, uh, Blue Cruise uh, drive mode. It looks like it's very similar. Let me turn this light off for you guys. It's very similar to the steering wheel right here. Um, I may be confusing them. This may actually be the Super Cruise, and then this may be Lane Keep Assist. I'm not entirely sure. I know I will be told the correct answer in the comments section below. Then you have your parking sensor uh, alert off. Automatic start stop off, it is on by default. This will actually lower the tailgate. Hazard light, traction control off, hill descent control off, all four windows at once roll down. Massive storage tray right here. USB and USB type C. Two cup holders, another small storage tray right there. Minimalist shifter, I absolutely love it. And this is actually a really good spot for the trailer brake control, uh, especially with the Duramax diesel. Um, it's normal to just have your hand rest here, but if you are towing something heavy, you can easily just from here to here, here to here. I love that. Then we have a wireless charging mat. Again, extremely soft, beautiful leather armrest that does open up giving us access to a USB, USB type C as well as a 120 volt 400 watt power outlet. And if for some reason you are using this vehicle as a business vehicle, um, that's awesome. This is, this would be a great business vehicle in my opinion. You do have these little tabs right here for a uh, file folder organization if you need it. Ultimate is uh, labeled on the seat there's also it looks like a topographic map that is stamped into the seat back as well this guy's got two glove boxes the first one's access by pushing that button right there it is real wood and again that topographic map is stamped into the wood itself down here you have another glove box right there up top to the vanity it is a suede or alcantara i always confuse the two but the whole headliner is that material it's extremely soft and luxurious led lit vanity for the passenger as well as your driver. Up top right here, it looks like we have a three-door universal garage remote. All the master controls for the single pane sunroof, which I love. The master control for the power sliding rear window in the back of the vehicle, as well as the LED dome map light master controls, SOS, OnStar buttons as well. Then right here we have your video rear view mirror. Flick it forward, it becomes the video camera. You can control the brightness, how high or how low the camera views, how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera views as well. When you're done, flick it back and it becomes a rear view mirror again. Overall, I, I think this is probably one of the best interiors I've been in in the auto show uh, all day. I love this metal machined 
piece trim. I just, I can't get over how good that feels, especially on the steering wheel right down here. Feels nice and cool to the touch. And it's just got that perfect like material. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it just feels amazing. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So getting in the back is real easy with the drop down running boards and the grab handle right here. Uh, we do have storage underneath the seats, as you can see. We also have storage in the seats. Storage in the seats isn't super deep, but I have a pretty large hand and I can fit pretty much my entire hand about halfway over into the center of this seat over here. So it is pretty lengthy. Uh, I've done enough of these walkthroughs to know that I have about two and a half feet of legroom between the back or front of this seat and the back of this seat. You're gonna get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Cup holders right here. Heated captain shares, USB and USB type C. This armrest folds down giving you access to two cup holders. And because of the single pane sunroof, the rear occupant's headliner got pushed up. It looks like about three and a half inches giving you way more headroom back here. That's why I love that they're sticking with the single pane sunroof in the trucks. It also makes the truck more rigid in my opinion. LED dome map lights up top and then your hanger hooks are gonna be integrated into the outermost portion of the headliner. Very, very luxurious. Speakers everywhere, Bose premium audio. You got it everywhere. Again, a soft touch leather, real wood accents. This thing is just insanely luxurious. Let's take a look at the bed and see how much space we have back there. So this is the multi-pro tailgate. There's a couple ways to release the tailgate. The first way is with the key fob, which will lower the tailgate the traditional way. Second way is with the button underneath the touchscreen display. That will also lower it the traditional way. And the third way is to come up to it and push the button. If you wanna lower just the tailgate itself regularly, you're gonna push the bottom button. If you wanna use the multi-pro tailgate, you're gonna push this top button. It should unlock and then you can pull it down. Now, typically these beds are about six and three quarter feet. However, with this multi-pro tailgate set up in this position, you effectively have an eight foot bed, which is pretty sweet. So if you have longer items like two by fours or whatever that you don't want coming out of the bed, you can put this up and you're good to go. Now, if you wanna open it like a regular tailgate, like I said, simply push this bottom button and it will open like a regular tailgate. Now, while I'm back here, this is the Carbon Pro bed. It is extremely strong and extremely durable. We have three tie-down points here, three tie-down points there, for a total of six on each side, giving you a class-leading 12 tie-down points. Plus you have two tie-down points up front, as well as two tie-down points right here and right here. You have a bunch of tie down points for this thing. You also have the bed is pushed out as far as it can towards the um, outside of the box, giving you class leading bed space as well. You are gonna get LED bed lighting with this guy. Each light is above the re uh, rear wheels, which I prefer over keeping it right here because you're only really casting light right in this portion of the bed. When they're over the rear wheels, you cast light a little bit farther out, which is awesome. Right here is your bed step handle. So you can either use this step here or you can push both of these and use it as a bed step. Pull this guy out. This guy does have the Kicker Premium Audio tailgate package as well. You can get up and in. Now, to put it away, it's very easy. I can do it pretty much one-handed and in one solid motion and it's up and it's away. Let's take a quick look at the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. So here's this, the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind, if you see one on your local lot that is slightly different from this, it could be because how it's optioned or packaged. So there you have it, the 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate Edition with the three liter Duramax diesel engine. It's an absolutely beautifully luxurious truck. Uh, if you like the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more auto show content, definitely subscribe to the channel and be sure to go over to Twitter or X and follow me there because I will be posting exclusively first on that platform, all of the auto show content. Also be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.